Hi ladies, it's Penny. Um, another one of my ex exciting <laughs> extravaganzas. Um, <clears throat> today I've been uh, practicing some more mandala painting on eggs. Now I do find I have to go get two or three on the go type of thing because um, you've got to let one part dry, you know, before you move around and all that. Uh, this was the very first one they've done, um, and it's not excellent. And and the cat's going to jump up onto my desk now, aren't you? No, no, good boy. Yes, he is. He's going to sit in the window, aren't you? Good. <coughs> but practice will make perfect. I know I'm getting better because there's one downstairs and it's a lot better. And this one's not turning out bad either. So um, with this one I'm doing like a fade out, if you know what I mean, or a fade in to a darker colour. Uh, so I'll show you roughly how, I'd, how I go about it. Uh, for this little bee, all I did was last year some cards I was making, these are just cheap sticky on things. So I took it off, drew around it, little comical bee, and then um, painted it. And on that side I've done a butterfly, a little comical butterfly, in the same way. So, because uh, that's not very Easterish, is it? But, and on this one I'm putting a well, I put Happy Easter in uh, just gold paint, uh, just a little bit of gold paint, uh, gold metallic paint. And uh, But the first two letters I've outlined, I'll show you, with contour liner in, in gold. So I've got to let all that dry. In fact, I smudged it, so I had to go back over it. And, uh, but you can do that. And I mean, if you've got the right, brushes. Now I picked these up. Um, yes, that's one of them. And I can't find the one. There it is. Is that it? Yeah. These up. Um, from, I don't know if it's the pound shop or some shop which does make up your stuff. And uh, these are like for your nails to do fancy nail work on them. And that one I've not washed very well. Now don't worry ladies, I am not going to drink this water, but I'm such a clumsy person that I find sometimes it's just better to have a bottle of water <laughs> near me. I can screw the top back on because if it's in a jug or something, I'm blind as a bat and I just uh, knock it over. So. I think that's a bit cleaner now, that one. But as I say, you can very, very carefully, if you're not happy with something, go over it, you know what I mean, or, or round it through or whatever you want. So, all I'm using is normal acrylic paint. I've already got, um, ignore the yellow ones, they're going to be for this one. I've got some green mixed in different shades, which is what I've done there. I started off light and I came darker and I'm going darker there. So I'll just show you on this side because that's nice and dry now. So I'll just show you roughly how I start. Now my biggest one, biggest tool on this one is that one. It's, these are just dotting tools or um, embossing tools, whatever you want to call them. Um, two or three different... Uh, 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 sizes here and actually you've got slightly smaller on the other side so you've got a few to go up there but you don't have to use them as I've said before you can use even a tip of a pencil you can use that in paint it doesn't matter and the final thing I'll use uh, is a toothpick so that's where I've got my trusty lamp and I can't do a lot with you because a lot of the time I do have to look through my <laughs> magnifying glass if I want to get a reasonably good job out of it so but we'll start off with the bigger one uh, which was this one okay 
and I'm going to start well I'm going to turn it over because what I'm going to do is go light this way into dark and I'm going to make that carry on with the dark because there's not much dark there so I'll start about here about in the middle of the egg and I'll use the um, lightest one I've got which is this one in the middle so it's just one dip I always have a piece of paper at the side just to make sure it's doing doing what it should do and uh, off we go so I am dipping each time so I get a nice clear and it, try not to put it at an angle as a pencil it's much better if you go straight down straight down so it's quite difficult um, not to try and do things in a row you know you want you want them to look like random really there you go I want to do it on all, all very neat rows and that but you don't really want that I hope you can see this so that's trouble I've got to put it away from the camera and um, that makes it more difficult for me to see I'm just going to leave those two little dots there, I think. I'll fill them in with a, a smaller one. See, I've overlapped on that one just slightly. Because I, yeah, I usually have it closer to me. So what, I'll do a couple more so we can see. Okay. And I know I said I was dipping each one, and I'm not. But it is, seems to be holding quite a bit of this paint. Um, yeah, I want to come down this way now, really, don't I? I don't okay, let's man that egg out the way. Go on, man out the way, go over there. The cat's looking out the window. Be one of them horrible, wet, windy days again. You don't get to enjoy the daffodils, do you, in the spring flowers when it's rotten weather because you can't even go outside for your cup of tea so but, so say I might, I might have done a couple more but then what I do then is just turn that one over because that is a size smaller and using the same colour I'd, I'd just go in between okay so you fill in as many split places as you can. I'm even going in there. I am going in there. It's making it a bit difficult going so far away. I'm remembering I'm blind on the left side, so and I'm working on the left side, so it's a bit uh, it's a bit tricky, but I know you ladies will be able to get it much, much better and finer than what I can. But I don't think I'm ready to sell them anyway, so <laughs> nobody would want them yet. Um, so, for fun, for Easter. Actually, do you know, I find this really relaxing. Um, I was listening to Annie. Rosie Posey and um, she's into that uh, diamond painting is it and she was saying how relaxing it is and time passes and you feel really relaxed I, I find the same with this actually even more so I think than my embroidery but I do like that but this once you've got some nice music in the background and that might hear my voice um, there we go, you see, we're getting there, we're getting there, okay, but I just want to, yeah, there's some very, very good videos out, one of my favourite ladies who does this, 
is, I think she's in Canada. Rachel's Rocks, she goes by the name of. And, um, oh, her mandala work and rock painting are beautiful. Beautiful they are. So I would, I'm, I'm going to come further down. I can't touch that because it's going to be wet. So I have to leave that. So I'm going to go smaller now. So that I've used that one. I've used that one. And I'm going to go smaller and use, which will be smaller than that one. I'm missing that one. I'm going on to straight onto this very, very small one. Okay. Which it looks like it's coming out bigger. Just have to play your own music. Mm. Okay. But before you know it, the time does pass, I must admit. So, under normal circumstances, I will do some more of this size, but if I had it closer to me, but I'm not going to, I'll just show you what effect it has with the um, oh, green, um, with the pin, with the pin, with the oh, gold, cocktail stick, not that many cocktails in this house this year. <laughs> Triple A's when you're on medication, it just um, gives you one enormous headache, doesn't it, alcohol, so it's not as enjoyable as it used to be. Brandy was my thing, I used to love a brandy. Oh, let, let me see where I am. And try and keep that part very clean, because this is what you tend to rest against. And uh, if you get paint or something on that, <laughs> you smudge all your egg. Believe me, I know. Okay, so we're just going to put some tiny, tiny little dots around. Me straighten my glasses off. Cat thinks I'm speaking to him. You should be going out. You don't like this weather, do you? But it stopped raining now, it, so you could go for a nice walk. Okay. Because we want to, we want the butterfly to look like he's um, part of the part of the egg, and not just um, plonked on or something. Okay, but I, I thought I'd just make this like instead of proper butterflies and that, just make it a bit comical. Comical butterflies. Okay. Now some of the spaces right on the edge there, when I change to a darker a darker colour, I think this is the one I was using. Uh my next stage up would be this one. So you can't see this sort of difference until you get your colours all together. If you know what I mean, I'll show you. Turn around again in a minute. That wasn't very good, is it? Uh, what I'd do is, with this colour, uh, you can see it's slightly, ever so slightly um, darker. That much, but when I got when I get my very thin one or the, the um, cocktail one out, I'd also put some of the this slightly darker one. Oops, amongst amongst these like that, just so that it looks a bit more blended. If you know what I mean. So, like that, 
uh, uh, maybe one, two, three there. One, then get one there. Sometimes you can be too clever and uh, try and get them too close. You know, you do want to try and get a space in between them. But, you know, it doesn't matter. Can you see it coming now, ladies? Can you see it coming? It's coming, isn't it? And that's nearly all I'm going to have time to show you, unfortunately. So, uh, let me see if I can turn that round. So hopefully it's, uh, it will dry like that. I'm using exactly the same coloured paint. So when it dries, it will just go slightly darker like that. And, um, and that's it, really. And that's how I do my dot painting. And um, I'm really enjoying it. It's very relaxing. And I hope some of you lovely crafty ladies will have a go and let me see how you're getting on as well with it. As I say, that one I will show you after, another time, when I've finished. But that one's going to be um, lemon, I thought, a black background. That's a, this is a real egg, I think. Yes, get mixed up now. This one isn't, this is actually a plastic egg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, thank you for watching. And I'll try and get this up and I'll speak to you very soon. Thank you very much, ladies. Bye.